Well, the Marshes visited the Aces and brought along Mr. Collins, private investigator, who is working on the disappearance of Mrs. Marsh's bracelet. He was introduced as Mrs. Marsh's uncle, and during the evening wandered out to the kitchen where he questioned the Aces' maid and learned she isn't French. Jane promised if he wouldn't tell the Marshes, she'd give him a complete story today. He thinks it's about the bracelet, which the Aces don't even know is stolen. This episode is an alternating scene between the Aces' home and Mr. Aces' office. But first to the home. Listen. And uh, everything was going along so good. Everything. The way you took their hats and coats and said we and mercy. And you served the dinner perfectly. Like a veterinarian. And I never tasted such delicious sweet potatoes. And everything. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Oh, thank you, nothing. You had to spoil the whole thing by telling Mr. Collins you're not French. Just as you were doing so good. You said everything just right in French when I spoke to you. Oh, Laura, why didn't you keep your mouth shut? Well, I couldn't keep my mouth shut and talk French at the same time, ma'am. No, I mean, are you trying to be funny? Oh, no, ma'am. Well, it's about time. I'll see Laura sometimes. Well, I hate to say this, but sometimes you make me mad. I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, what good is being sorry now? Why weren't you sorry when he started asking you things? Well, I couldn't think of anything but what he was asking me, ma'am. And he asked me so many questions and so fast. Well, what kind of questions could he ask you that made you tell him that you weren't French? Well, one question he asked me was, what part of France was I born in? And I said, Indianapolis. Indianapolis? Well, why did you say Indianapolis of all places? Because I was born there. Oh. But did you have to tell him Indianapolis? Couldn't you just say some town in France? Well, I guess I could, but I don't know any. Don't know any? Don't know any towns in France? No, ma'am, I don't think so. So, well, if that is, why there's a hundred towns in France that everybody knows, even you should know. I'm sorry, ma'am. Well, but you could have said, uh, Viva La. Don't tell me you never heard of Viva La France. Oh, yes, ma'am. And how about Ilby? Everybody knows Ilby, France. And a hundred others too humorous to mention. I'll say, Laura, sometimes I just... Well, don't... it was just on account of him asking me so many questions <clears throat> at one time and so fast. Oh, why did he have to go out in the kitchen in the first place? No, in the second place. In the first place, why did Mrs. Marsh have to bring her uncle here anyhow in the first place? I don't know, ma'am. You just told me there would be one extra for dinner. And I got dinner for one extra. That's all I know about it. Yes, I guess that wasn't your fault. Well, anyhow, it was nice of him not to say anything last night in front of Mr. and Mrs. Marsh. If he had come out here and said he found out that you weren't friends last night, I'd have, well, I don't know what I'd have done. Oh, there he is now, I guess. You can answer it, Laura. We oui, madam. Oh, and you don't have to talk French anymore. It's all over now. Yes, ma'am. That's nice, ma'am. I wonder if he'd bring Lanette with him. He said something about bringing her. Yes, ma'am. She's here, too. Uh, step right in, young woman. Oui, monsieur. This is Ace in. Oui, monsieur. Okay, we can dispense with that lingo. Mercy. I'm in here, Mr. Collins. Oh, yes. Good morning, Mrs. Ace. Good well, morning. you see, I brought along the other half of this sister act. Beg pardon? You know, Nanette. Oh, yes. Hello, Nanette. Bonjour, madame. <laughs> Mercy. Oui, madame. What? Okay, okay. That'll be enough of that. Let's have this out in good old-fashioned English from here on out. Uh... Sit down, lady. Oh, thank you. Yes, please. We may All right, now, enough of that. Let's get right down to plain facts. I've had a chat with this young lady on the way over here, and she doesn't seem to want to talk. I think that after she hears the facts that you told me last night, Mrs. A, she won't deny anything. Deny? Yes, she denies everything. But I have told you, monsieur. I do not know what you're talking about. There, you see, Mrs. A. I do not know what madame has told you, but I know nothing. Yeah, pretty stubborn, isn't she, Mrs. Ace? Well, what does she mean she doesn't know anything? That's what I'd like to know. But she'll change her mind when you tell her what you told me last night. What has madame told Mr. Collins? Well, I told him about you teaching Laura how to speak French. Oui. Oui. Oui, madame. Mercy. Now, let's cut out this lingo that I don't know anything about. That is true, what madame said. I have told Laurette how to speak a little French. Yes, I know. That is all. Oh, no. That isn't all by a long shot. Let's have the rest of it. There is nothing else. Still stubborn, huh? All right, Mrs. Ace, you take it from there. Beg pardon? Uh, tell her what you told me last night. Well, that's it. She taught Laura how to talk French. 
But the rest of the story, you know, last night. Oh, last night. Yes. Well, last night, Mr. Collins went out to the kitchen and started talking to Laura. And he asked her so many questions, she got mixed up. And before she knew it, he found out she wasn't friends. And I begged him not to say anything in front of Mr. and Mrs. Mark. And I promised him I'd tell him the whole story today. Yes, that's what I want to hear, the whole story. Now, go ahead, Mrs. Ace. Well, it all started the night Mr. Ace and I went over to visit Mr. and Mrs. Mark. I had to recuperate and ask them over here. But after I saw a man out there, I thought it would be nice if my maid could talk French, too. So I got Laura and Nanette acquainted, and Nanette taught her how to speak French. Yes, go on. Well, that's all there is. That's a... Well, wait a minute now. That's not the story I'm after. Well, that's the story I promised to tell you. That's the only story there is. Oh, yes? Well, let me tell you a little story. All right. A certain married couple in moderate means visited a couple of some wealth. While there, the lady notices a certain diamond bracelet that looks pretty inviting. So she has her maid get acquainted with the maid of the wealthy couple, and between the two of them, they mix up a scheme to get that diamond bracelet. Oh, that sounds exciting. What happened? What? Uh, listen now, you tell me what happened. Me? Any of you. Not me, monsieur. Je ne sais rien. Mercy. Wait a minute. Stop it. Stop it, I say. What's going on here? You're not going to get me off the subject. Stop it. Well, hello there, Ace. How's the boy? Oh, Johnny. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Busy? Well, not any more than usual. What brings you down here today? Oh, I thought I might have something of interest to you. No. What? The answer is no. What is it? <laughs> Still the same old... How's Jane? Uh, funny you wouldn't drop in and see your sister once in a while. Yes, I know. I've been meaning to, but I've been pretty busy trying to make an honest dollar here and there. Yeah? How are the honest dollars coming along? Well, not as well as they should. That's what I thought I might talk to you about. All right. Don't sit on the desk. Sit on that chair. Okay. Now, now here's the story. There's a man named Davis. I met him through somebody down at the Everett store. He works about a couple of months out of the year. And a couple of months. Yeah, that's all. Makes enough during those months to take it easy the rest of the year. Well, I got interested in that. Yeah, that sort of appealed to you. Well, sure. Uh, the ten months that he doesn't work appeal to you. Well, oh, now don't start writing. You're not talking business. Okay, go ahead. What does he do? Well, he sells jewelry. After all, jewelry's an investment, too. You take a diamond. It's not like something that'll wear out. It's always a diamond. You can always get your money back on it if you're up against it. Now, I think a nice diamond ring for Jane, a dinner ring or something like that. Oh, well, she has a ring, Johnny. Oh, I mean, what of it? Get her another one. It's an investment. Oh, I know it's an investment. The money's always there, I suppose. Sure but... it is. Now, if you want to spend a goodly sum, I can get you a real bargain in a stone that big. Oh, I don't like stones that big on women. No, nah, but the women love it. I know this would. Well... Now, if you're interested, I can get Mr. Davis to let me bring over a couple no, of No, 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 no rings, but, uh... Well, is that all he carries? Oh, no. What'd you have in mind? Well, well, I don't know. I didn't have anything in mind. This is the first I've thought of it. That is, I thought I might get her something like that someday, and I have got a little cash on hand. Uh, uh how about a bracelet of some kind? Do you have any bracelet? Sure sure thing. David showed me one only this morning. It's a beauty. But, uh, but what? Well, uh, I don't know if you'd want to go that high. How high? Well, it's a $5,000 bracelet. $5,000? Oh, you'll get it for less. Uh, that's what it's worth. Well, how can I get it for less? He picks up bargains. That's what I'm telling he you. He picks up bargains. Now, wait a minute. This guy, Davis, uh, uh, do you know him very well? Is well, he... I just met him a couple of days ago, but I tell you, he's been in this business for years. Well, I want to make sure, not only for my sake, but I don't want to have to be getting you out of any trouble. Trouble? Well, what kind of trouble? Well, uh, this stuff that this man sells is stolen or something. Sure. Well, well, it's nothing like that. Now, do you think I'd take a chance to get mixed up with a thing like that? Well, I hope not. Uh, well, I'd like to see this bracelet, if it's like you say. Oh, yeah, my beauty, don't worry about that, and you can get a swell buy on it. Well, when can I see it? Well, I'll have it for you in 24 hours. How's that? Be here tomorrow at the same time, okay? Well, all right, but not a word about this to Jane. I want to surprise her, you know, if I do buy it. Oh, sure, I understand. Thanks, Dave. See you tomorrow at the same time. Why, uh, Mr. Collins, I never heard of such a thing. Do you mean to say that you think that Laura took... I mean to say that between the three of you, there's a diamond bracelet. I've been trying to figure out who engineered this scheme, but you're trying to get me off the track. Well, I certainly never took any well, thought, Laura, and I don't start crying. Of course you did. Well, you ladies figure it out your own way. Only I'm saying this. 
that if that bracelet isn't back within 24 hours, I'm tipping off Mr. Marsh and then calling the police. Funny. He didn't want any publicity on this case, but if that's the only way we can get it back, then it's going to be that way. But we don't know anything about it. How can you say we took it? Because it was there for the night you visited the marshes, and it ain't there now. And it wasn't until the bracelet disappeared that your phony French maid started getting chummy with this other one. Madame asked me to keep Florette French. That is all, monsieur. Oh, yeah? I wouldn't be surprised if you were as phony as she is. What part of France did you come from? I was born in Paris. Paris? See, there's another one you could have thought of, Laura. Oh, yes, ma'am. I never thought of it. Well, you better start thinking of making that bracelet turn up, all of you. But we haven't done it. You can see we haven't any bracelets. You can search my arms if you want to. I'll roll up my sleeve. Search your arms? Yes. When I start searching, I'll search the whole house. Well, all right. You can search the whole house if you want to. You won't find hide or seek of it. Hide and seek? That's what you think you're playing with me. Well, we'll see about that. If that bracelet isn't back in 24 hours. Jane had better not be so quick about permitting Mr. Collins to search the house. Not if Mr. Ace's deal with Johnny's bracelet goes through. But the more startling developments are in store as we learn when next we meet the Easy Aces.